All the aliens of the earth, all you creatures of the scene. Lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Break in the song at the gates of the Lord The wonders He had done in every age All the ends of the earth, all your creatures on the scene Lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord For the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea Has come the justice for the world. Good afternoon to everyone. As we have gathered here to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, in the octave of Easter, let us experience the risen Christ in our life and during this Holy Eucharist, we also pray to the risen Lord to be with us, to guide us and to become more closer to Jesus every day of our life. I also pray for all the donors of Divyavani channel, wherever they are, let the risen Lord bless them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we have celebrated the resurrection of our Jesus, the Easter, and we are in the octave of Easter week. The Lord is risen, and we worship, we praise, and we adore the risen Lord. And as we all know that the resurrection gives us new life in Christ. The risen Christ that we adore, we pray that we have newness of our life, our spiritual life in us. But sometimes as a human beings, as we are living in this world, we may go astray from God. We commit sins, we fall and we stumble. But our God is always merciful. Our God is a compassionate God. Therefore, to celebrate this sacred mysteries in a worthy manner, let us call to our minds our own sins and ask pardon and mercy to the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Sing 
Christ the Father loved us. Jesus Lord and Lamb of God, hear our prayer, O Lord our mercy. You bear the sin of all. Glory, glory, sing His glory. Glory to our God on high. Sing to Christ the Lord and Savior. Seated there at God's right hand, hear our prayer, O Lord, our mercy. You are on the Holy One. Glory, glory, sing His glory. Glory to our God on high. Glory, sing to Father, Father. Glory to His only. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us Paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses from 36 to 41. Peter said to the Jews, Let all the house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the hearts and said to Peter, and the rest of the apostles. Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, and for your children, and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And with many other words he bore witness and continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourself from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized, and they were added that day about 3,000 souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. His merciful love fills the earth. His merciful love fills the earth. The word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and his merciful love fills the earth. Your response? His merciful love fills the earth. His merciful love fills the earth. Yes, the Lord eyes are those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love to rescue their souls from death, keep, to keep them alive in famine. Your response, His merciful love fills the earth. His merciful love fills the earth. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. May your merciful love be upon us, and we hope in you, O Lord. Your response, His merciful love fills the earth. His merciful love fills the earth. Kingdom of God and His 
According to Saint John, glory to you, o Lord. Gospel of Saint John, chapter twenty, verses eleven to eighteen. At that time, Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white. Sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet, they said to her, "Woman, why are you weeping?" She said to them, "They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him." Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know what it was, Jesus. Jesus said to her, "Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking?" Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, "Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away." Jesus said to her, "Mary." She turned and said to him in Aramaic, "Rabboni," which means teacher. Jesus said to her. Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we are in the octave of Easter, the resurrection of our Lord, and we are the happy mood, the joyful mood, because the Lord is risen. and we have the great light the light shining in all our hearts and today is reading especially gospel remains of few things to contemplate and meditate upon our own personal spiritual life as we are journeying and and we are in the octave of easter the first and foremost that we know about mary magdalene who experienced christ in her personal life who experienced the compassion and mercy of Christ and she follows Christ because she had full of love for Jesus and she is the one who visits the tomb also all we know that uh, she is at the tomb now today's gospel john 20 verse 11 to 18 when we read and uh, jesus appears to mary the risen lord appears to mary and first of first and foremost you we need to experience the love that mary had also we need to have because we need to seek the lord we need to seek jesus christ because we will see mary magdalene she goes and she visits the tomb that means she had a perfect love for christ therefore she seeking christ she is is in search of jesus and she is seeing the empty tomb she is so much worried and the gospel remains all she is weeping she is crying but crying for whom crying for the jesus the christ whom she experienced the greatest love and mercy in her personal and spiritual life brothers and sisters that is what we need to do 
when we have these problems in our own life, in our own families, in our own communities, wherever we are, we may go through that weeping, weeping, we cry, but we need to seek Christ even in our weeping. Even when we are sad, when we are distressed and depressed with many things, where we can get that consolation, where we can experience Christ is like Mary Magdalene who seeks Christ, who is in search of the risen Lord. And she was crying. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Why are you weeping? They have taken away my Lord. She is saying that, you know, they have taken away my Lord because the empty tomb, there is nothing inside because she experienced uh, Christ uh, in her life and the greatest love and compassion. We too experience uh, the greatness, the great mercy, compassion, love in our life too. Therefore, we are in search and seek the Lord in our day to day life. And when we come, you know, later on when we read uh, the gospel today, the women who are crying, weeping, and the weep, the cry, the the weeping, turn to joy, turn to happiness, where the Jesus appears to Mary. When Jesus appears to Mary, the risen Lord, the risen Christ appears to Mary, and he, she says, called, said to her, Jesus said to her, Mary, and you, your brothers and sisters, there we need to. Uh, pause and a moment and uh, contemplate and reflect, she recognized the voice of Christ. The Mary suddenly, next word that she turned when Jesus calls her Mary and the gospel says that um, John 20, 11 to 18 when we read, she, is, she turned and said to him in Aramaic, Raboni means teacher. That means only by listening the voice of Mary the calling of Mary, she recognized the voice of Jesus, the risen Lord. We also need to recognize the voice of Christ when Jesus calls us. Jesus calls us. Jesus is always speaking to us in the word of God, in our personal prayers, in our meditations, in our own the, um, breaking of the word of God. Jesus speaks to us, but are we able to listen his voice? Mary listens the voice and recognizing the voice. What is that? And she says, teacher, my teacher. Then she says one, do not cling to me. Jesus says that I have to do the will of the Father. It is according to the will of the Father that she, Jesus has completed the public ministry here on earth and he has to ascend, go back to, he has to go back to the Father. Then tell, go and tell my brothers. Go oh, and tell my brothers, what is that, that I have, uh, preparing myself to ascend, to go to my father. Dear brothers and sisters, that which uh, we need to experience uh, Christ, we need to seek Jesus in our own sufferings, pain and all kind of tribulations that we go through and also we need to listen to the voice of God. We listen to the, Jesus calls us, are we able to listen? Are we able to recognize Jesus' voice? And there, there we get the consolation. There we get the happiness and joy when we listen to the voice of God. Therefore, the, as we are in the octave of Easter, when we reflect, when we go to the readings, this all remains as that uh, uh, turning back to Christ, the risen Lord, the risen Lord. The newness of life that we have in baptism, and as we have celebrated this uh, Easter, that newness of life with Christ, the newness of life in with Christ and that Jesus is the light, the shining in all our hearts. He is the light of the world. He has risen. He has overcome death, the victory over the death and he is alive and he is active. He is alive. He sees me. He sees you. Therefore, when we walk with Jesus, when we listen to his voice, when we search Jesus, that gives us the greatest consolation that we need in our life. Let us close our eyes for a moment. Let, let us examine, am I seeking my Lord? Am I searching for Christ when I am 
in trouble, when I am suffering, am I able to cry for Christ? And that sufferings and cry will turn to joy and happiness when I listen to the voice of Christ. Amen. I like to pray for our Holy Father, for Francis and the cardinals, bishops, priests, religious, and all the people, those who are working for the greater glory of God and the spread of the good news. That the risen Lord be with them and give them the courage to proclaim the word of God and to become the instruments to spread the good news to the whole world. I also pray for all the donors of the Vivani channel. Wherever they are, let the risen Lord be with them, protect them, give them good health and happiness and joy in their life. Amen. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion Lord we pray the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation to all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon the light the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
a similar way when Sapro ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Pula Andoni, our Bishop, all the clergy and the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who are died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and his divine teaching we dare to say, O oh, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be, be done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as you have the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look no, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is sealed at the right hand of God, mind the things that are above, Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is and let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.